Exeter Quay. Exeter Quay is a popular area for pubs and restaurants, but it used to be an intensive area of commerce and trade, and the signs of this can still be seen today. The Quay area lies to the south of the city centre. In the 14th century, Countess Weir was built in Topsham, and this blocked the river for shipping. In 1566, a canal was completed to provide access for ships. By the late 17th century, activity at the quay had greatly increased, and the customs house was built to accommodate the growing number of ships. This was largely to do with the increase of the wool trade. The customs house was built in 1680 to 1681, and it's believed to be the oldest purpose-built customs house in England, and was used as such until 1989. There are impressive plaster ceilings in the upstairs rooms, and bonded stores that would have been used to store goods. Inside the customs house was where the wharfinger, or the person who controlled the port of Exeter, had his offices. A newer, larger wharfinger's house was built further along the quay in 1778. The cannons that you can see here on the quay side were due to be placed at the Wellington Monument in Somerset. The order was originally for cannon captured from the French fleet at the Battle of Waterloo. However, when these arrived in 1819, they were discovered to be later than the Napoleonic Wars and actually Russian. Therefore, they were never replaced at the Wellington Monument. Some were melted down for the Second World War effort and the remaining were left here on the quayside. The cellars were the first private warehouses on the quay and were constructed in the mid-1820s. From the mid-19th century, there were concerns from the locals about the storage of flammable goods in the cellars, including gunpowder and oil. But the City Council Committee said that they were being overly concerned and fussy. However, at 7am on the 22nd of December 1882, oil from one of the cellars caught light and exploded, destroying a boat moored outside, and within minutes the contents of two other cellars exploded. Luckily there were no casualties, but it took the rest of the day to put out, and a thousand barrels of oil were lost. The licence to store fuel in the cellars was removed the following month. These are the King's Wharf buildings. These warehouses were built in 1835 and one of them was used to store French onions. These would have come over by ship and then would have been transported across England by onion sellers known as Onion Johnnies, who would have sold the onions door to door by bicycle. The warehouses are now used as offices and restaurants. The ferry, also known as Butts Ferry, takes people from one side of the quay to the other. It is powered by the ferryman pulling the ferry along by a stretch of cable. The earliest date of the ferry is unknown, but it was given a royal charter in 1641. In 1803, the ferryman, a Richard Sercom, was also the landlord of the Fountain Inn, now the Prospect Inn. This inn functioned as the ferryman's cottage for a good many years. This structure is a railway turntable and it was used to turn trucks as part of the Quayside Railway constructed in 1867 and it was rediscovered during excavations in the 1970s. Unfortunately, even the construction of the railway could not save the use of the quay with the decline of the wool trade and more goods being transported by the railway. The quayside dwindled in its use and by the 1920s only three ships regularly berthed in the basin. Thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope to see you soon!